What's up guys, I'm going to be showing you important CS2 console commands as well as binds. Let's get right into it. The biggest mistake that players make is not biting your nades to keys. You never want to use 4444 4, 4 to shift through your keys or mouse wheel. So for example, if your teammate is asking for a flash mid, it takes much longer when I have to cycle through nades as you can see. Now if I had to flash bind it, I could go ahead and get it real quick and throw the flash when my teammates ask for it. Every second counts in CS. How do you bind your nades? The easy way is press escape, go to your settings, go to the search bar, type in smoke, and then you see the first line here, smoke grenade, go ahead and click that. And then you have your whole list of nades here. Change the key to what you want for each nade. If you want to improve your bunny hopping, then you will need to bind your mouse wheel to jump, which will make it easier to hit the timing. Before I show you more, here's a quick word from my sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skins Monkey, a trading platform where you can instantly get new skins by trading in your old ones. All you have to do is click on your item, see how much it's worth, then pick out some new skins. What I love about Skins Monkey is that you can take a bunch of your skins that you don't want and trade it for a better one like I'm doing here, essentially upgrading. Besides trading, you can also buy CSGO skins for cheap with a 30% deposit bonus and if you use my code NART, you get an additional 5%. Make sure to use the link in the description and code NART to get all the extra bonuses. This next bind makes it so much easier to drop the bomb with one press of a key rather than pressing two which is going to make it easier. For example, if you were to entry in, you can just turn around and press one key. You need to use a jump throw bind in CS2 because it's going to make throwing nades so much easier as well as you're going to be way more consistent with it. Not just the jump throw bind guys, you need the run throw bind, which is going to make it even more true to make throwing nades more consistent. So this here, you just saw me use it for this top con smoke from spawn. Very hard to hit without the run throw bind. This next bind is my favorite bind in CS2, which makes practicing utility so much easier. So if I were to miss a smoke, I could instantly erase the smoke without having to wait for it to fully disappear. And the nice thing about this bind as well is you don't have to wait for it to land. So if I go ahead and throw it like this, I could easily press the key and it erases. If you want to test out flashbangs on your own, you're going to want to use this bind, especially if you don't have teammates that you're practicing with. And as you can see, I'm frantically trying to get in position to test out my flash. With this bind, I can just press one key and it rethrows the last nade. If sound seems off to you, try this command speaker underscore config to or one to your preference. It's going to make your game sound like CSGO and it's much more clear. With the new CS2 buy menu, your CSGO buy binds won't work the same. You can adjust your new CS2 buy binds by using this website here. So for example, if I want my starting pistol bind to my one, I can do that here. And it's going to create a bind for you and as well as any other weapon and items. So once you have everything picked out, you can go ahead and follow these instructions on the right in order to get your binds. You could change your view model FOV, which is changing how you hold your gun. Here's me changing the X offset. You can see the position of the gun is in the middle of the screen. This is my default view model. Now you're gonna see me change the Y offset view model. I changed the Y offset and as you can see, the gun moves out a bit. And then the last view model is the Z offset, which you can see looks totally crazy. In CS2, the lighting is very bright. There's a console command, R full screen gamma, that you could mess around. The higher value that you go up to, the darker it gets. So here I'm showing you the difference between 2.2, which is the default, and then 3. And like I said, you can go higher if you want to make it darker. If you need a more specific way to throw nades, then you're going to need to use this command here. It's going to be bind your key, toggle seal crosser size, and then you're going to put your crosser size in there and then 900. Press that key to go ahead and toggle back between the long crosshairs and your crosshair. Finding your way through smoke is super hard. And with this bind, you can go ahead and make the radar zoom in which is going to help you navigate down the vents or through smokes. This next bind will toggle your volume of your in-game sound. You hear that when I toggle with the bind that the AK goes from louder to quiet as vice versa as well. If you don't want to go deaf, make sure to use this bind if you're waiting for the next round to start or you're playing some deathmatch. 
make sure you have the console command HUD show target ID 1 as it allows you to get more info as you can see the player highlights there. Now if I have it off, you can see the player name does not highlight. By seeing the player's name, you get extra info to use to your advantage. Reminder to use the player ping which makes it way easier to communicate with your teammate for example if you need a specific boost. YouTube thinks you should check out my other CS2 guides. If you find this video helpful, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, Nardout here, peace.